Okay, so let's see if you have the math skills to figure out the area of this little section right here, highlighted in yellow. But uh, let me go ahead and explain this figure. So what we have here is a semicircle, and we have a triangle inscribed or inside of that semicircle. And the radius of the semicircle is 3, and this point right here is the center. Okay, so that's all the information you need to figure out the area of this little section right here. Feel free to use a calculator, but if you have the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, we have this triangle inscribed uh, in this semicircle, and the radius of the semicircle is 3, and we're looking for the area of this section right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is one of two of the following. So this answer right here would be considered the exact area. So that would be 9 pi minus 18 over 4 units squared. Now, we don't have any... Um, any actual units in this problem. In other words, the radius is not given to us in like millimeters or centimeters or inches. If it was, we'd have to be mindful because we are talking about area, so we're talking about units squared. But uh, we can give, uh, we can calculate an approximation here if we replace this pi with about 3.14. So you can come up with a decimal value somewhere around 2.565, uh, somewhere in this neck of the woods. So if you were close to this decimal, well, that indicates to me that you did this right, and we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in calculating the area of irregular figures. And that's kind of what we have here. This is kind of an oddball shape, but we can figure out the area of this right here if we know how to find the area of a semicircle and triangle. We just need a plan to kind of subtract away uh, the area of some of these other figures so we can kind of get to this portion of the figure. Okay, so if you kind of follow my drift here and you're like, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think I know what you're talking about. Well, let's go ahead and get into the actual solution right now. And these are very common type of geometry problems. So first things first, so let's just observe what kind of basic figures we're dealing with. Now, this uh, yellow section is kind of like a little uh, portion of this semicircle, but really we have to be, um, you know, uh, creative here and be like, well, how can we find out what the area of this is? Well, maybe we can find out the area of this semicircle, okay, which would be one half of the area of a circle. So we need to know the area or the formula for the area of a circle, and that it's going to be... Uh, area is equal to pi r squared. So this is a full circle, so half of a circle, of course, would be one half of this. And of course, we're dealing with uh, two triangles or one big triangle, and the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So if you're saying, okay, I can find the area of this semicircle, I can find the area of these triangles, how can I get to this little section right here? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a strategy. All right, so first things first, well, if we can find the area of the entire circle, and of course we have enough information here because the radius uh, is 3, we have the radius, so we can find the area of this entire circle. If we take half of that, well, then we have the area of the semicircle. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now, once we have the area of the semicircle, what we can do is uh, calculate the area of this big triangle. Now, of course, there's two triangles, but we can look at this as one big triangle or two small triangles that are the same. But if we can find the area of the big triangle and remove it away or kind of cut it out from the area of this semicircle, what we're left with is these little portions right here, and we're getting pretty close to what we want. Now, we want this yellow section. We don't want both, but, you know, we can actually calculate uh, this pretty easily because if we have two of these, we just want one. So we just take uh, this area and, and divide it or multiply by one half or take half of that, and we get this section here. Now, we need to be clear 
that these triangles are the same. So these areas will be the same because this is the radius, it's three. So this uh, distance right here for this triangle will also be three. And this distance right here is also three. So these triangles are the same, indicating that these areas are the same right here. Okay, so that is the strategy. And if you were thinking to yourself, okay, now I understand how to do this problem. Well, why don't you go ahead and pause the video if you didn't get this right the first time. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the actual steps. And we're gonna be dealing with pi here. Uh, let me kind of scroll back up. So our formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. What I'm gonna do is hold off on uh, replacing pi with an approximation, a decimal approximation of 3.14. Till the very end, I'm gonna suggest that you do the same. It just makes our life a lot easier. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the next step of this problem, which of course is having you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I definitely need your support to continue to grow this channel. My objective is to reach as many people as possible that can benefit from my math instruction. Now I've been teaching math for decades and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I want to have a, you know, a classroom where I can help as many people as possible. And YouTube is a fantastic platform to teach. Matter of fact, I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years and I have over 2000 plus math videos from advanced or basic math. I'm going to write this again, basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So when you subscribe, I kind of like look at that as I gained a new student. And all my content is for those of you that need help or like my teaching style, but uh, I really try not to waste your time. Uh, and I try to deliver high value content. Now I know right now I'm kind of wasting time in this prompt, but this is important because I definitely need your support. And if you're gonna subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this prom now. And now that we have a strategy, basically what this comes down to is just doing the calculations. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and get the area of this entire circle. Now we have a semicircle, but we have to get the area of the entire circle. So we have a radius of three. So the formula for the area of a circle is area is equal to pi r squared. So r is three. So we'll plug in three for r. So three squared, of course, is nine. So the area of this entire circle is nine pi, but we need the semicircle. So we have to take the area of this entire circle, which again is nine pi and take one half of it. And of course, uh, one half of nine pi is nine pi over two. Okay, so that's the area of our, uh, of our semicircle. And of course we're dealing with units of measured uh, units squared. Okay, and again, if this was inches or millimeters, we would you know, uh, be mindful because we're talking about area. But uh, one thing, again, we are dealing with pi. You don't want to replace this pi with like a decimal approximation. Not at this stage. We'll do this at the very end. But uh, here we have the area of this semicircle, 9 pi over 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this triangle because we're going to subtract that area of that triangle from that semicircle. And uh, what we have here is the height is three and the base here is three. Now you could look at this one or two ways. You could, you could look at this as two triangles where the height is three, the base is three, or we could just say, oh, the entire uh, base of this big triangle is six, three and three, right? Because this is the radius, this is the center. And that's the way I'm gonna do it. The height will be the same. And if you calculate two small triangles or one big triangle, the area will work out the same. But let's go ahead and do that right now. So the area of this entire triangle is gonna be area is equal to one half of base. Now our base will be six, because this is a three, times the height, which is three. So one half, six times three, which of course will be nine. So uh, two goes into six, three, three times three is nine. Okay, so now we have the area of the semicircle and we have the area of the triangle. So we have to subtract away the triangle from the semicircle and that will give us these little sections right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So we have nine pi over two, is the, that's the area of the semicircle, minus nine, that's the area of the triangle that gives us these little sections. So let's go ahead and do that math right here. So nine pi over two minus nine, okay, which is the area of the triangle, but we'll uh, express that as a fraction, nine over one. Of course, we know that you are an expert in fractions. We need to find the LCD. 
uh, here's two, here's one, so we're going to have to change this to two, and uh, we need to multiply that one by two, which means we need to multiply this nine by two. So we have nine pi over two minus 18 over two. Now we can subtract uh, the numerators, and we have nine pi uh, minus 18 over two. Okay, so we're almost done. This is the exact area of these two yellow sections here, but we only need one of them. And again, these areas are the same because these triangles are the same. Okay, so that's an important um, uh, note because if the triangle was different, in other words, if we had a semicircle, something like this, and this triangle was, you know, they weren't the same, it was something like that, well, this would be a different type of problem. Okay, so all we have to do is take half of the area or half of uh, what this answer is. Of course, this um, 9 pi minus 18 over 2 is the area of both of these sections. We just need um, half of that. So we'll take that answer and multiply it by 1 half. So 1 half of this, uh, again, we are talking about multiplying uh, fractions. So 1 half of 9 pi uh, minus 18 over 2 is 9 pi minus 18 over 4. Okay, so that is the area of this yellow section and this section, but um, that is the exact answer in units squared. Okay, so at this point, if you wanted a decimal approximation, we could take a rough approximation for pi. You never want to use anything less than 3.14 for pi. Now, of course, pi is an irrational number, and if you want a more accurate answer, you can go into your calculator and pull up more digits of pi which will make your final answer uh, uh, more accurate. But just for the purposes of this video, we'll use a simple uh, uh, 3.14 approximation for pi. Again, that's the most basic um, you know, decimal value that you would want to use for any kind of reasonable uh, answer. But let's go ahead and replace this pi with 3.14 and get a decimal for this. So we have 9 times pi, or 3.14. Uh, minus 18, and when we do this little calculation right here, we get 10.26 approximately, and we'll divide that by 4, and that gives us approximately 2.565 units squared. Okay, so again, these type of problems are pretty common in geometry, and if you want to do more of these type of problems, I have a ton of them on my YouTube channel, but you need to also understand basic geometry or full-on geometry. Now, I'm going to leave links to all my math courses, all my main math courses in the description of this video. If you are taking a geometry course, you want to check out my full um, geometry course because there's all a lot of content in there that you need. Now, if you are just interested in learning some algebra and learning some geometry or just basic stuff, check out my math skills rebuilder course, okay, because in there... I go over basic mathematics. I teach a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry, even some basic trigonometry and some probability and statistics. So there's different options there. Uh, even um, I would say those of you that are even in pre-algebra, I have a couple of chapters on basic geometry. So it's all really up to you in terms of what uh, your uh, current course level is. But here's the thing. If you're studying mathematics, you definitely need to be able to uh, figure out the area of strange little shapes like this. And you could do that as long as you know how to uh, find the area of basic common figures. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.